The announcement was made to reporters in a news conference at the PNG Power head office in Hohola, Port Mosby. The entity loses almost 30 percent of power through illegal theft activities, such as tampering and meter bypass. This then decreases the cash flow, limiting the power entity to effectively carry out its operations. A revenue protection strategy was developed in which this amnesty initiative was launched early this year. The first phase was successful with over 900 customers, both registered and unregistered, connected with proper meter boxes. The program will be targeted for specific customers. Under the first uh, uh, phase amnesty program, we tar targeted both uh, uh, both registered and unregistered customers. Registered, registered customers are customers that have meters, but they must have bypassed it or tempered the meter or did, it, uh, did all the necessary things to uh, reduce their meter readings. The second phase of the amnesty program mainly targets unregistered customers without a meter box. Unregistered uh, customers are customers that do the direct connections. They have no meter, but they just go and connect it straight from the power line into their house and they are using them, which is unregistered. And this second phase amnesty program is targeted for these people. When a customer is registered, a unique identification number will be allocated. No penalty fees, back bills and service fees will be charged during this amnesty program. Phase two of the amnesty program will end on the 31st of August with a community approach program to follow straight after. This is an initiative of the PNG Power together with the USAID PEP partners. Lindy Suharupa, National MTV News.